any company that serves me or pretends to serve me to tell me I don't really care. Post office employees got emotional during a public meeting as USPS officials laid out a plan to downsize this Smith Street mail processing facility. A crowd of nearly 100 postal workers, citizens, and elected officials packed into the Waltham High School cafeteria to hear findings of a feasibility study. We need to radically change what, how, we process, how we collect and process. 166 of roughly 400 jobs could be eliminated at the Smith Street facility, including 11 Waltham residents. Uh, these postal employees have guaranteed work hours. The work hours they are working today will still be worked in another location. That means if this place closes, it's going to have to go to another facility. It means longer travel, longer delays. Overnight service will be a, a service will be a thing of the past. The USPS said the move would save $20 million, although downsizing expenses could be sizable. The proposal is part of a larger effort nationwide to cope with spiraling debt and decreasing mail volume. These maps show the number of current facilities and cost-cutting projections. Both local and state officials voice concerns. Mayor Jeanette McCarthy says she was upset at the potential impact on the city. Well, they, they basically said there will not be overnight service anymore. And, you know, that's kind of difficult because now are they going to go to another? Are they going to go out of business because they're not offering overnight service? Last week, the USPS held a similar meeting for local businesses with similar reactions. And we're just not staffed to bring our mail into Boston if that's where we end up having to go. The USPS is soliciting comment from the public until January 25th, after which decisions about consolidations will be made. If you would like to submit your input, please send written comments to the address on your screen. The way you've done business has seriously affected the way we do business. For Waltham News Watch, this is Manny Miller.